Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is a wonderful story. It's a story of conviction and a willingness to sacrifice everything in order to keep one's heart right with God. Hello, I'm Clarence, I'm the preacher, and I'm here to tell you that you and I can develop that same kind of conviction that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had if we desire to do so. And we're gonna discuss how to do that starting right now. Number one, they love God with all their heart. They love God more than anything. They would rather give up everything this world had to offer in order to keep their relationship with God. There was nothing in the world that competed with God. They had cultivated that kind of one-on-one -on -one love with God. And when you and I cultivate that same kind of one-on-one -on -one love with God, sure, we're gonna have stuff in this world, but our love for God is gonna be so much greater than anything we have in this world that if we get pushed in a corner and have to give it up, we're like, so what? I was gonna give it up anyway when I died. Why not give it up now? Get me on to heaven. That's the goal. That's the mindset of the Christian that cannot be stopped. We have another similar example in Acts chapter 7. It's Stephen. In this case, he was stoned to death. He wasn't delivered like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which reminds us sometimes God delivers people and sometimes God brings people on home. And that's God's choice. So Stephen in Acts chapter 7 stood against all of the religious leadership of his day. He stood his ground because his love for God, his love for the truth in Christ was so strong, he would not compromise it. Now scholars think Stephen was a young man, probably somewhere around 30 years old, and he gave up all of those future years that most people do everything they can to keep. Remember what Satan said, skin for skin, everything a man has, he'll give to save his flesh. Stephen wasn't one of those. Stephen said, go ahead, take it, take my life. All you're going to do is send me on to heaven early, and I've been trying all my life to get there. So it's that sacrificial attitude. That's what makes people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego so strong. They're willing to give it up. And if they're willing to give it up, Satan has no leverage. Peers, manipulators, they have absolutely no leverage. So if you can do like Christ said in Luke 9 and 62, put your hand to the plow and be willing not to look back, <laughs> Man, that's power. That is strength right there. That is setting your heart, your mind upon heaven, like Paul would talk about in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. That is singing, living, heaven holds all to me. It is all about heaven. It's not just a academic phrase we say. It's not just Sunday school talk. It is how we live our life. And those who are like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're like Stephen or they're like the Apostle Paul. And you can read about his sufferings starting in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Those people had that sacrificial attitude. Heaven did hold everything. This world was not their home. They were on a pilgrimage. They knew they were just passing through. Look, whether you're Christian or not Christian, you're just passing through. Everybody dies and leaves this realm. And people like Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Stephen and Paul spend their life preparing for that transition so when they graduate out of this life, they do graduate to a better life in heaven. Therefore, they love God more than anything. Christ said, if you love father or mother, son or daughter, more than him, you aren't worthy of him. If you wouldn't take up your cross and follow after him, you aren't worthy of him. This is the kind of dedication that God demands of us. And if you kind of think about it, it seems logical to me. For this short life of, let's say, 70, 80 years that we give in devotion to God, what do we get in return? We get eternal life. Now think about that. It doesn't even add up, does it? I'm going to give him 80 years of my stumbling life and he's going to give me eternity. So when you think about Stephen, who did die in Acts chapter 7, how long has he been in heaven now? And to keep it simple, he's been in heaven about 2,000 years. Wow, that wasn't a bad deal, was it? So people who had that sacrificial attitude, they understand. World and not the home, just passing through. Like Paul said in 1 Timothy 6, starts about verse 6. We didn't bring anything in. We came in as 
naked as could be. Uh, we're going to leave just the same way. We're going to bring in everything, take out everything we brought in, <laughs> which is absolutely nothing. So don't get too crazy about this vapor we call a life. Have a conviction about heaven. Set your mind on heaven. This isn't the true riches here. The true riches are over there. And this is the proving ground to find out whether we're sheep or goats. And goats don't get the true riches over there. So we get our focus set on heaven. We get our priorities set right. Sure, we're responsible here. But we always understand the priority is God. Now that means that we have to sacrifice our life, be willing to do so, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and so be it. Because God is more important than anything, anything here on earth. Hey, put your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. Share this video if you think it would help somebody else. And as always, I hope you have a great day.